From the Trader Guy, this is Chris. I'm taking a look at the British Pound US dollar pair. And as you can see, I have a mess of lines on this chart. So let me go ahead and zoom out here so that you can see exactly what you're looking at. As I zoom way out, you can see I have this as a major support zone. And uh, we had a downtrend line here that we had broken above. We've tested for support. We've rallied to make some highs and then just banged around as the UK Parliament, Theresa May, everybody else couldn't figure out what they wanted to do. Formed a descending triangle. Pretty nice one, a nice obvious one. We like that. Uh, we have broken below it. And this candlestick here, or this uh, line here, excuse me, represents the height of the descending triangle. So it sets up for a move back to this downtrending line to test it for support again. And that does happen occasionally. You'll see one of these breakouts that tests the line several times and then eventually takes off. So that's my thesis right now. I believe that the British pound falls. It's not a huge stretch, but I don't necessarily think that this is a major breakdown or meltdown waiting to happen. I think this is just simply the Brits don't know what they're doing. They can't get it together. Who wants to own the pound kind of situation? So I think it's going to be a slow grind. But as usual, I want to look at the alternate scenario. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the hourly chart and see where this could be thought of as wrong. And, and I think that is 130.20. So nice risk to reward here. You're really only looking at about 80 pips for a potential of somewhere in the neighborhood of around 400, 450. There are obviously going to be bumps and bruises along the way. I think the 100% Fibonacci retracement from this move higher, which is basically 128, is also an area where we could find a lot of buying pressure. So if you're more comfortable to take your profit there, that would make sense as well. Or take half, put your stop loss at break even up here. If we break above this high here, the 130.20, then you have to pay attention to this descending trend line. If it gets broken, then that reintroduces the idea of the overall consolidation. Don't think that's going to happen, though. Um, starting to see a lot of U.S. dollar strength anyway, so it, it all kind of lines up for a drift lower over the next several weeks.